Thursday Thunder. On a Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> sort of. Sort of, yeah. Well, no, yeah. it is Thursday, the 28th of March, 2018. No, it's not. 29th. Yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> well then. <laughs> I've, been, we've, I've been told not to bitch about doms. Yeah, no. We're not, apparently not allowed to do no. that. Apparently we bitched about doms last week. But today I feel good. I feel good, yeah. Legs yesterday again and... Legs, yes, yes. Oh, feels good today. Lower back's a bit stiff, but I love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, It'll get normal, normal leg soreness, but not the crippling doms that we suffered and bitched about last week. No. Yeah. Why did someone complain? No, well, didn't Ari write in the bio of last yeah, week's Thursday yeah. Thunder that, you know, bitching about doms? Yeah, well, he hasn't had it for so long, so he wouldn't know. No, that's because he runs now. Uh, Apparently. Poor guy. Yeah. Don't run the skin chased. Anyway, welcome to Thursday Thunder. This episode is brought to you by Australian Muscle and Australian Muscle the Gym. Adrian. Mm. It is. How are you? I'm great. Great? I'm feeling fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You look really tired. I, I feel tired. <laughs> I feel tired. So what, we're three and a half weeks out? Yeah. Yeah. That is all. Yeah. That's all. But still training really well. Strength is still, still hitting PBs. Yesterday hit us a few good ones. Yeah, Tomorrow. I must admit, we're training really well. Yeah, yeah. so... So training's going really good. Mm -hmm. Mixing it up a little bit, this program. So, um, thoroughly enjoying it. Yes. Mm. Yes, we are. Yeah. Rest day today, and it's even better. Yeah, I must admit, it, it is good to have a rest day. Yeah. I look forward to training, but I sure do look forward to today not training. Yeah, and a lot of people are like, what are you trying to like resting? Like, oh, what's that? I'm like, yeah. you'll find out soon enough. Rest day. Yeah, you do what need body it. part's that? Mm. Located <laughs> here. Anyway, what are we talking about? I've got nothing. We well, don't really have a lot to talk about. No, it's but... been it's been a little bit of a quiet week in the in the industry. There's mm -hmm. been a few comps. There was a New Zealand pro, Mo El Masawi, I think that's his name. He runs the New Zealand Pro Show, which mm -hmm. was a classic physique pro and a two twelve pro. Yep. Um I got no idea who won the no, 212 no. because they were all people. I'd, it was a big Iranian team and they apparently cleaned up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in the Classic Physique, we had an Australian debut that Paul Vu, who won the mm -hmm. Classic Physique at the Arnold Classic, and he finished fifth. Wow. So well done. Yes. Uh, in the amateurs, there was a pro qualifier which uh, was won by Australia's Sophie Guidolin. Yeah, yeah Sophie. Sophie's a huge social media um, icon and written books. And, mm -hmm. yeah. So she's tried for a long time to become a pro, lots of second places, and she finally won it. So she's got a pro card. So congratulations to Sophie. Yeah, very Do you know that so. one of Sophie's first contests was with my show here in Adelaide, I reckon, over 10 years ago? Did she win? Yes. Oh, there you go. Yes. So it continues. So it continues. So she won that and then uh, she moved into state and she won a number of um, IMBA slash ICN titles mm -hmm. uh, and then moved on to the IFBB trying to get her a pro card and she's done it. So congratulations to Sophie. It's well done. Good to see that um, someone like stuck with it. Yeah. No. Yeah. Definitely. And after what, two, three kids now? She has two four kids. kids. Four kids. Well, they even. even yeah. That's so even she had two though. kids, and then she uh, married Nathan, uh, and they had twins. Yeah. So four kids, and now she's a four pro. Kid, four, four kids, and she's a pro, an IFBB pro athlete in the bikini. So well done, Sophie. That's good. I like to see that. There's these people. There's one thing that's. See, I've got a topic now. There you go. I told you. Competitors who don't come back and compete again. Yeah, we'll talk about um, loyalty. loyalty Not to... necessarily loyalty, but just don't compete again. Mm. Every year uh, when I run a show, especially in fitness and bikini, just about 95% of the competitors are all first time competitors. Yeah. Just something they need to go, yeah, I could do that. Yeah, but you know, even the winners and everything, a lot of them don't continue to train or compete. Mm. I can understand the maybe have not have the drive to compete but still train I mean a lot of them don't even train like I've seen a lot of them there no, no I don't even train anymore I sort of did that once you know yeah well to each their own yeah and, and to get consistency and to become better like Sophie you need mm. to keep training need to keep competing and slowly just pegging away and all of a sudden you're at the top there you go yeah but uh, 
We see that more so with the ladies. I tend to see it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they find dieting is just a horrible experience. You hear about it all the time. Yeah. Going, oh my God, I ruined my body. Blah, blah, blah. Whereas most of the time, I think it was you eating just too much food. Really. Yeah. 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 Um, but anyway, we don't want to get into that. But no. you see all the time that um, very few go on and come back to compete. Yeah. Yeah. And if they do, they don't come out better. They look similar. They look very. They, they look not similar. Much, no. Not much change. No. The. Um, there is a couple of things. We've got entries that's coming in now for the yep. um, Adelaide uh, Classic um, very quickly and a lot of them every day. And there is a few female competitors who have actually, a couple who have moved up from fitness into figure. There you go, that's what you want. That's progression. Which should be the progression. If you're continuing to train, continuing to train hard, your physique should change to the point that yeah. you have to move up a division. You will, if you're holding, if you're gaining, gaining muscle, you can't really do figure anymore, can you? That's right. Mm. Can't do fitness anymore. Fitness, that one. Yeah. Um, congratulations, Sophie. <laughs> <laughs> I said that already. We did. Um, there is a pro show on this weekend as well. There's yes. actually pro shows coming up, quite a few of them now. Every week, every mm -hmm. second week, there's a, that sort of... Um, progression and of pro shows but we've got the indie pro which is a new pro show in america uh this this weekend it has a uh, an open in a 212 yep. division the open has a whole bunch of guys like it's a massive lineup 20 uh, 20 competitors and we've only heard of three three of them yeah yeah which were uh steve kuklo yep. luke sandow yep. and hidatita hidatata yamagishi well there's your top three yeah that's what I'm saying too. It's like, yes, that's the top three. That's there. your top three, and then the rest is just people that I have never heard of in my life. Nope, not at yeah. all. But hey, maybe they might make yeah. one. Someone might be the same. I did listen to a podcast um, with um, Chris Acido, and uh, they went through the competitors, and some of these are guys that have actually competed a few times in, in smaller tier mm -hmm. shows, which we most probably haven't heard of. Yep. Uh, and they did say that there is a potential there for a couple of these guys to grab the top spot. So, but we'll see. But I think you nail the top three there. Yeah. So Kuklo, Sandow, and Hido. Yep. Uh, in the two twelves, it's interesting. There is a um, a competitor making a comeback. Comeback after, seems to be the go. Over ten years. It's, it's a good ten years. Silvio Samuel. He used to compete quite regularly, mm -hmm. was an Olympic Olympian, uh, competed in the Olympia I think once or twice, uh, and he's making a comeback in the 212s. I think his last comp was about 2016 or 17. Wow. So that's um, 10, 10, 11 years ago? 2016, two years ago. You think 2006? 2006 slash there 7. There you go. There we go. So yeah, about 10 or 11 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. So be interested to see how he does. And some guys just gone on to our spin cycle. Yeah, yeah, spin okay. cycle. <laughs> just want to be louder. Yeah. All right. Uh, so yeah, that's on this weekend. Um, we have got in body fitness is coming back here to the gym this Sunday. Yes. Body scans from twelve o'clock, twelve to one thirty. Mm -hmm. um, so if you had a scan done before, come back for your follow up scan, which I'm really yep. keen to do. So, so are you. And we will actually be having that machine here then for a few days. Yeah, for about, Easter. For, for about two or three days. For Wednesday or Thursday? I believe Wednesday. Wednesday? Yeah, so, All right. so I'll be conducting them. So if anyone needs it. Cool. We'll do a little tutorial and show our members. Yeah, and put it of up. course. But yeah, they'll be here on Sunday at the gym at 12 o'clock. Uh, don't forget posing classes are on again. At, um, there's no posing classes at the base now. No. No, so, Easter, so, closing over Easter there. Yes, least. yes. Yep. And then they got comps on after that. So the competition season is only just over a week ago. Yeah. A week away. Yeah. The first show of season A, which is the new PCA show at the Adelaide Convention Centre. That'll be interesting. I'm going to go have a look. Yeah. Might, yeah. might tag along, see what it's like. Come and keep me company. Yeah. Might. Here we go. It'll be fun. Yeah. Uh, so that's um, Saturday week. Yeah. Not this weekend, next weekend. We have new meals. Yes. Yes. So, you got that one? Yep. Um, Fit Chef Australia now stocks all Australian muscle stores and the gym. And you freezers were filled yesterday. Freezers were filled yesterday, so they yep. are. And they are made fresh and delivered yes. on the day. So when you fall them out, they're not a messy pile of no. slop. No, no. We, these, they're, yeah, they're delivered to us fresh, yep. just cooked. We freeze them. 
Um, I tested these all last week. Yeah, all six we got now. Yes, and um, I froze them straight away at home so that then I could thaw them out to see how they thaw out. Mm -hmm. And they thaw out beautiful, not into a soggy mess like yep. some frozen meals do. Um, so, uh, what have you got there? I've got the uh, chili con carne. Which was magnificent. Yep. And there's Italian beef and vegetables, and there's four other varieties that we've got, which we will most probably expand on. Yeah, definitely. As it there's, goes on. There's a lot. But the there. meals were delicious. I found them really, really good. Uh, $9.95, and they're an average, um, a minimum of three fifty. Yep. But we sort of weighed them up, and they're averaging about three seventy, three eighty. Yeah. Turn that off. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll do that. Uh, I I think I had it. I had the um, pesto chicken one yesterday. Yes. And that was yeah, the pesto chicken is a non-carbohydrate yeah, version. Yeah, it's a keto-based meal, and that's really really nice. I'm that's not a big fan. Of, yeah, I'm not a big fan of pe pesto, but that was really delicious. So awesome. Good job, Elliot. I'm yep. Glad. So uh, we're excited to be partnered up with Elliot for that. So check that out. All the freezers are now full at all three locations. Australian Muscle Stores and Australian Muscle The Gym. And I think that's it because yep. we really got nothing else to talk about. No, today. not at all. Yeah. Catch you guys next Bye week. Bye. Don't forget to like and to share. Oh, check out our second podcast, interview podcast went up um, this week with um, South Australia's Jordan Biggie Stephens. It was yep. a really good chat. Strong man. Strong man, talking about all the things, strong man, weightlifting, powerlifting, charity work, everything. It was really, really interesting podcast. So check that out. Catch you guys next week. Bye -bye. See ya.